Hi, this is Tanya, and I am your Thursday person for Proof That Weight Loss Surgery Works. And this week's topic is, what do we have problems with? Now, I have three, three <laughs> major things that I have problems with. One is making sure I eat enough protein and drink enough water. Um, I've kind of had problems with being tight and sometimes tight for no reason, and it's hard to get the protein and the water in. Um, I've come to the point where I keep track of it now because there was a time when I was, I've been at a plateau, and I've been at a plateau for about maybe three weeks, and I believe that my body is going into survival mode, so it's holding on to everything because I'm not eating enough food. And, you know, your body goes, oh, let me hold on to this because she ain't eating and I'm not starving up in here. And the same with the water. Your body will hold on to the water if you don't drink enough of it. Um, my next thing, uh, my next problem is um, slider foods. So, of course, this goes with, every, with the first problem because if I was tight most of the time, which I was, um, when you can't eat, I get frustrated because, you know, food is still an event to a certain degree for me. And I, you know, I look forward to when I can sit down and have a meal, even if it's only a cup of food. But when you can't eat and you're too tight, you know, I, t I get mad. And I don't know who I'm getting mad at, but then I turn around and I go for the ice cream and I go for the corn chips. And I think it's so unfair that those things go down easy. I think it's unfair. I think it, it defeats the purpose almost, and it does. I try not to do it too often. Around that time in the month, it's almost uncontrollable, but I do the best I can, and I work out, try to work out more. Um, my biggest thing, I would say, is the attention. Um, and I mean it in, I'm not sure what that beeping is, don't worry about it. Um, I mean in general. I mean, if I go out to lunch with friends and they notice that I'm not eating all my food or I'm or getting a box for the rest of my food, they draw attention to that. I don't like that. Just let me eat in peace, you know. And if I, I've even I've even had waitresses ask me, you know, do you like the food? Are you okay with the food? Oh yeah yeah yeah. I just I just can't, you know, I ain't explaining everybody, but I just can't eat a lot, so could you just bring me a box? Um, or if I eat too slow, I'll be the last person still eating when everybody else is done, wiping their mouths and drinking their water, whatever. I'm still eating. So, it took some time to get used to that. I almost came to the point where I'd like to eat by myself because I don't feel like hearing things from people. Um, and the most thing is actually the attention from men. I'm not comfortable with it. You know, I was invisible at 300 pounds. It's hard to believe that, but 300 pounds, you think, who in the hell can be invisible? But you can, and you do. People pay you, I don't know why, people pay you no attention. But as you lose the weight, you become more and more visible. And sometimes that's good. And then sometimes it's not, because then people start seeing you in a different light. I, I like to say this, you know, I was one of the guys when I first started, like um, when I first started working my job, where it's predominantly guys, I was, I was, I got up to 300 pounds, and I was one of the guys. As I start losing weight, all my close friends, one by one, started noticing I'm not really one of the guys anymore. I'm a girl. And they took notice. And I don't know. I'm very sure eventually I'll get used to it. I, I'm not one for liking to stand out. I, I like to just be one of the group. I just want to be where I don't stand out. But, you know, I just, I know it sounds crazy. That just sounds crazy anyway. So um, that's my issues. I'm working on them. Um, but I will say this. I love my band. I would do it again in a heartbeat. If I have these issues, I'm going to have to learn to deal with them because this is one of the best experiences in my life that I've ever had to where I feel like I am really making a difference in my life. Um, invisible or not, you know, sometimes you just have to take a walk out on faith and, and, and believe in yourself 
and do the best you can for you. So that's it for me, babies. Uh, I will check you out later. I have made a video on my own page in a while and I need to do that. So uh, look forward to that. That should be coming up soon. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Bye.